Welcome to my quick tip favorite color mixes series. For this video I'm going to review one of my favorite combinations quinacridone gold and quinacridone coral. I like to keep my wells on my palette full of pigment and like to keep my mixing area clean. That's just my personal preference. This allows me to mix large clean pools of pigment and helps keep my washes fresh. Here I have quinacridone gold and quinacridone coral. I'm going to mix the two together on my palette and I can get a variety of different tones um, to use for my wash. One of the mixtures I like to make which leans a little bit more towards the coral side is a uh, substitute for burnt sienna. While I do use burnt sienna in my painting there's times when I feel this combination of uh, coral and gold give me this uh, a more vibrant burnt sienna like tone. It's a nice mixture to use in concert with other uh, washes and, and can use it to charge a, a wash and bring a little bit of life to it. You can see here I've used just pulled some burnt sienna out and it's not quite as vibrant as this mixture that I've achieved with the quinacridone gold and the quinacridone coral. This color combination is great for florals. If you lean towards the gold side, it's a great tone for, say, sunflowers. And also, it's good in landscapes. Um, you can use it on rocky areas, seascapes. It gives a nice effect. Here I'm going to apply the quinacridone gold to the paper and some quinacridone coral. And I'm putting this paint on 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. And here now I'm starting to add a little bit more of the wash. And I'm going to bring these two together and let them begin to mix on the paper. You can see the variations that you can get as you let these uh, two washes mingle on the paper. So you don't do all your mixing on the palette. You want to have lively washes and let the, um, the different tones mix on the paper and just create uh, a nice natural effect. And here I've laid down some uh, variations of the mixture from my palette. A little bit more uh, coral in some and a little bit more gold. And I'm going to hit this with a spray bottle. And again, you can see these colors, how they're mingling on the, the paper. It can, it can have a very nice effect to your painting. Here is just a flat wash of each tone, uh, watered down a bit. You can see the different values you get with the same pigment. The one thing I want to mention is with opaque paint, you use white to get your lighter tones. With transparent watercolor, it's how much light you allow to reflect back off the white of the paper. So the more water you add, the lighter your wash is going to be, and the more reflection you're going to get coming back off, off your paper. So with opaque paint, you add white, and with transparent watercolors, you add light. That's another one of my favorite color mixtures. If you do have questions, you can direct them at my website or contact our art at gmail.com. And thanks for watching.